Hello, my name is Jake Salter and I'm here to talk to you about a dietary supplement called hydroxycitrate or HCA or even hydroxycitric acid. Hydroxycitrate is used and is popular for being a weight loss supplement. You may have seen it in supplements so-called uh, hydroxycut, that's also one of them, or in a pure form called Garcinia Cambrosia or hydroxycitrate or pure HCA. HCA is an extract from the fruit called Garcinia Cambogia. This is a small green pumpkin shaped fruit found in India, Southeast Asia, and West and Central Africa. HCA, while primarily used for weight loss, also aids in appetite suppression and decreasing sugar cravings. This extract is taken enterally and is as an oral capsule or as a powdered mixture that is combined with water or another solution. HCA is absorbed by the small intestine and then is, and then is taken to the target site of the liver. Corvax and Plantaca in their research state that HCA inhibits ATP citrate lyase, which then leads to limited acetylcholate for lipid synthesis during carbohydrate feeding. This result in an increased hepatic glycogen synthesis by blocking lipid synthesis. This will allow the availability of free glycogen to be used while avoiding fat storage. With an increase in free glycogen, there can then also be an appetite suppressing effect. Out of all the research journals I read, none reported relevant side effects. One analysis that did a full review, meta-analysis review, over the effects in taking hydroxycitrate that was done by Ego et al. 2011 noted that if toxic levels are reached, then one could become susceptible to conditions such as vomiting, fatigue, dehydration, and liver damage. It did report that these side effects were rarely ever seen, and the toxic levels were extremely high. However, to reach these toxic levels, you'd have to take well over 3,000 milligrams in one day. The normal dosage that was recommended in most of the research was taking 500 milligram capsules three times daily, each before a meal, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, for the success of this supplement as a weight loss aid, there is a lot of research that says no. I found several articles by Egress et al., Cherniak, Lenz, Hamilton, Pittler, Ernest, and Heber, all stated in my paper that stated there's no significant benefit for weight loss. They did find that it helped minimally, but nothing of significance to report in their articles. No numbers were given because of the lack of relevant data. There was, however, a benefit for using HCA to prevent weight regain in people who have lost a significant amount already. Corvax and Plantinga did a study on the effects of HCA on energy intake and satiety in overweight humans. This showed that people who had already lost a significant amount of weight kept the weight off by appetite suppression. However, since they found that this supplement isn't good for weight loss and how it's not working the way they thought it was, they believe now the weight loss was due to the appetite suppression that may be caused by serotonin increases in the brain. This was a new mechanism they believed to be affecting the appetite suppression and a decreased sugar cravings. Now for my opinion on the supplement, I believe it is not a good or even a relevant supplement to be taken for weight loss as shown and been proven by the research. I do believe, however, that it can be helpful in reducing sugar cravings and for appetite suppression and even others who haven't lost a significant amount of weight or who are just trying to get on that. That's all I could find on the research, but as far as that, I'm going to say no for weight loss, but yes for appetite suppression and decreasing sugar cravings. Thank you again.